What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoyed my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Silent Scorpio. This can resonate if you have Scorpio any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamner, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general collective reading. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply. Two may apply. Two, two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages into your own particular life situation, how they resonate for you. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess to Rofi. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. Um, single mom and two kids. It helps support a single mom and two kids in one of her income streams. So I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Okay, so... Okay, so... What happened was, what, what, what happened was, <laughs> um, I started, um, uh, started the reading. I didn't click the camera on. So I was like talking, I was doing, um, I'd received channelings, was going, going, going. I was about eight or nine minutes in. I looked down and realized I was not recording. So I already shuffled some cards. Um, so we have purse, pay attention to your finances, pen, new job, career, seahorse, family matters tree transformation i just got these out and then i did receive some channeling so i'll share those with you as well um the first one i heard was baby mama drama the first, second one i heard was baby daddy drama the third one i heard funeral and the fourth one i heard um um oh crap oh yeah a childhood friend is about to reach out to you soon a uh, not childhood friend i'm sorry not childhood friend skirt not childhood friend um a school friend is about to reach out to you soon. A school friend um, of your past. A school friend of your past is about to reach out to you soon. So I feel that could be primary school, elementary school, which those are same thing. Middle school, high school, technical school, Ivy League school, community college. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates, but somebody of your um, that you went to school with, um, in some shape, form, or fashion of your past is about to reach out to you soon. Um, that one hasn't happened yet. Um, and, of course, energies can, can be reversed. So, um, the baby mama drama, I feel it could be your baby mama or somebody you're connected to's baby mama. Probably trying to start drama with you or is about to try to start drama with you or somebody you're connected to. Baby daddy drama, I think that could be your baby daddy or somebody you're connected to's baby daddy already starting drama or trying to or going to start drama with you and uh, funeral I feel for some you've already attended this funeral for some this could be upcoming funeral uh, obviously it's not you at least God I hope not um, I don't feel it is I think you've already attended a funeral for some for some you're about to and um, for some I feel you could work at a funeral home or you could be a um, a um, funeral director or work in a um, um, mortuary or something of that nature or a crematory, crematory or something of that nature um, possibly um, or you uh, maybe you could be like a graveyard digger or something like that work at a um, at a um, graveyard site at a um, what's it called I can see it in my head um, you know, um, the places you go for the, um, funerals, um, any other day I could think of it, <laughs> uh, funeral, a gravesite, gravesite. Yeah. You plug it in, how it resonates. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I had a long day. <laughs> um, and number four, it hasn't happened yet. Number, the first three, I feel like some of, for some of you guys, they could have already happened. Um, and, um, for some, they're upcoming course you have to plug it into your own particular life and situation how it happened um, how it resonates and number four has not happened yet but that's definitely somebody you have went to school with in some shape form or fashion um, and they have not reached out yet so you plug that into your own particular life and situation however that resonates and applies Scorpio okay let me go turn the light on real quick I'll be right back I apologize
And a Scorpio is about to make a very, very, very important phone call soon. And a Scorpio is about to make a very, very, very important phone call soon. So one of you guys is about to make a very, very, very important phone call soon. So whoever you are, Scorpio, uh, at least one of you guys is going to make a very important phone call. You plug in your own life situation, how it resonates. Okay. Power couple energy for one. Power couple energy for one. So one of you guys, power couple energy. So I feel you could be in a power couple or you're dating somebody in a prospective power couple or you have your eye on somebody and you know you and this person could be a power couple. Um, power couple energy is the bomb.com. And that's just the truth. Everybody strives for a power couple relationship. And at least I would hope you, you would. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. I feel for some, you could already be in the power couple situation and relationship. For some, I um, think you got your eye on somebody for a power couple. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I think. That's exactly what I think. Number 31, Faith. Number 31 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 31. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number of one's life. You plug it in, how it resonates. Purse, pay attention to your finances. Moving out of area for one Scorpio soon. One Scorpio is going to move overseas. Moving out of area soon for one Scorpio and one Scorpio is going to move overseas. So one of you guys is about to move out, out of area soon. So out of the area you're currently in, whatever location or area that is. And one of you guys is about to move overseas. So out of the current country you're in, overseas to another country is what it's seeming like here. Purse, pay attention to your finances. Really watching your finances. Really, really watching them. One Scorpio is really bad about going into debt. Being in the red a lot. Okay. I heard really, really watching your finances. So I feel for some, you're really watching your finances or you're about to start watching your finances. Um, whoever you are and how that applies. And for one, I heard you go into the red a lot, meaning you don't, there's not any money in your account. Um, you're, you have no money and you're in debt. Like you owe creditors or you owe a credit card company or companies or um, you're, you are less than. For some, I feel you could have um, filed bankruptcy like chapter 13 in the past or something of that nature. I didn't hear you did, but I feel for some you could have. Um, I mean, you go into the red a lot, so you owe way more often than you spend. Uh, I'm sorry, you owe way more often than you have money, basically. And that could be the pay attention to your finances, um, you know, evaluating your wants versus your needs, evaluating what you can spend and what you can't spend, um, maybe making changes, maybe consulting with a financial advisor possibly for some um, to get some help on budgeting and uh, budget analysis and being able to properly maintain your finances possibly for some. Uh, of course, only you know your situation story, not anybody else. I, I can't hear a son. A Virgo is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life for some. For some of Taurus, for some of Libra, for some of Aries, okay, a Virgo, a Taurus, a Libra, and an Aries is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. 
Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Aries. And for some, another Scorpio. And for some, another Scorpio. So Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Aries, and another Scorpio is about to become very significant in your life. Scorpio. They can have Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Aries, or Scorps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. I didn't hear what relation these people are to you, but I feel for some, it could be your baby mama or your baby daddy. Because um, we had baby mama, baby daddy energy in here. Um, for some, these people could have invited you to a funeral or been connected to this funeral in some shape, form, or fashion, whether the funeral's already happened or it's upcoming. And for some, I feel they're a member of your family because we have family matters and the family tree in here. So you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. Virgo, Taurus, Libra, um, Aries, Scorpio. New job, career. And a Pisces. And a Pisces. And a Pisces, too. Um, they could have any of those in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in having their Jupiter charts. New job, career. One Scorpio is about to completely switch careers. Completely switch careers. It's going to make you so much happier. So much happier. Okay, I heard one of you guys is about to completely switch careers. Completely switch. It's going to make you so much happier. So new job, career. In this aspect, it's a new, completely new career field. Um, so I think it's something completely different ooh, than uh, what you were doing in the past. Whatever it was you were doing in the past or doing now. Uh, but whatever, um, it's a new, completely new career field. I heard it's going to make you so much happier. So um, for some, you might not see that it's going to make you happier. For some, you maybe you do see it. Um, but I heard it is. It's going to make you happier. So completely new career field change. For one, you're going to quit coaching. You've been coaching a while. For one, you're going to quit coaching. You've been coaching a while. So some kind of coach energy. Um, if this resonates for you, you are a coach. It sounds like currently in the energetic space or you were. I heard you're going to quit coaching. You have been coaching a while. So some kind of coach of something, uh, whatever sport or sports that is, I feel that could be... Um, um, that can be like um, professional level or it can be not professional level. Um, it could be um, child sports um, or professional level. But you're going to quit coaching. Uh, I heard you've been coaching a while. Um, however that resonates. Whether you're like a child's coach um, on like a rec league, rec league team or a travel team or um, a school ball team or your professional level. Um, so for some, if it's professional, I think you're going to retire because um, you make big, big bucks doing that or you can make big bucks. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Family matters. A child is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Some starting at a new daycare, some starting a new school, some a child's illness. Okay, a child's about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. For some of you guys, the child's starting a new daycare. For some, they're starting a new school. And for some, they are they have a, some kind of illness in some shape, form, or fashion. So in this aspect... Um, this could be your child or somebody you're connected to's child. But um, family matters is the child energy here. Whether they have an illness, 
whether it's your child or somebody you're connected to's child has an illness, or uh, the child is starting a new school. Um, for some, that could be moving out of area or out of country. Um, or they're starting a new daycare. I mean, children matter. Family lives matter. Absolutely. So in this aspect, is children. A pedophile ring is about to be busted up. Okay, a pedophile, pedophile ring is about to be busted up. One Scorpio was involved in this, and one Scorpio is involved in busting it up. Okay, a pedophile ring is about to uh, be busted up. For one of you guys, you're involved in help busting it up. And for one, you were involved with pedophile ring. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, pedophile ring is basically somebody oogling children's goodies. And I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. It's somebody that makes money off someone's addictions, sexual addictions with kids, basically. Um, one of you guys is either already in the process of helping bust it up, providing information to bust this crap up, or you're about to. And for one, you were involved with creating the addiction, people's addictions with oogling people's, uh, not people's, but children's goodies. So creating sex addictions for off kids. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. But you plug it in how it resonates. Tree. A tree in a front yard is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life and a tree in a backyard. A large aged tree. A large aged tree, so um, an older tree, so not a young sprout, not a, you know, little branch, not a little baby. A large aged tree, so like this depicted, depicted on this card, a large aged tree. It's about to become very significant in one of you guys' life. It sounds like it hasn't yet, but it's about to. For some of you guys, it's in a front yard. It could be your front yard or somebody you're connected to's front yard. For some, it's in a backyard, whether it's your front yard or somebody you're connected to's backyard. You plug it in how it resonates. And a body is about to be exhumed from under a tree. For one, you're going to be involved in helping exhume it and giving information. Okay, our body is about to be exhumed from under a tree. Um, I heard for one of you guys, you're about to be help. You're going to help give information about the body under this tree and helping exhume it. So um, you plug in how it resonates. I feel for some you could be psychic investigators like I am, or you could know the information out in three D from people that have told you, or you witnessed something. Somebody burying this body under the tree or something like that, and you're about to provide the information. Um, for some, I feel it could be your family involved with this for some reason. I didn't hear it was, but I feel for some it could be, possibly. Um, um, I have toxic family too. I don't judge. That's why I completely disconnected from my toxic family, and I have for many years. I'm not judging if it is your family. I'm not saying it is. I didn't hear it was, but I feel for some it might be. Uh, but for some, you're about to give information on the on this body under a tree. I feel for some, you could have witnessed the body under the tree, uh, being buried under the tree, or somebody could have told you they buried the body under the tree. And for some, it might be your family, just saying. Um, or something of that nature. Or somebody in your community told you about this body under the tree, or what have you, what have you. But at least one of you guys has information about this body under the tree. You're about to reveal it. Or you could be a psychic investigator like I am, and you get the spiritual downloads from the spiritual universe, and you gotten like a clairaudient like me, or a clairvoyant like me, message about a body under a tree. You plug it in, how it resonates. Physical tree. Um, for some, the body under the tree could be the old aged tree, large tree in a front yard or a backyard. You plug it in, how it resonates. You plug it in, how it resonates. Transformation.
A Scorpio's sister is about to move to New York City. It's about to shock the hell out of you. One sister is about to move to California. One is about to move to Florida. One is about to move overseas. Okay, so one of you guys is sister. So it, I feel it could be your biological sister or your adopted sister. You plug it in how it resonates. But some kind of sister to you energy. Um, I feel it could be your biological sister, your adopted sister, or a person you call a sister. How that resonates. But for some of you guys, your sister is about to move some to California, some to New York City, some to Florida, some overseas. So oh, out of country. Um, I think you're going to go through a transformation when your sister moves. For some, I feel you can be close to your sister. Um, and it's going to maybe be hard on you. Family matters. That's your sister right there. For some, I feel they could start school somewhere. Possibly. Um, possibly. I feel that for some of you guys. I didn't hear that. I just kind of intuitively feel that for some of you guys. But for some, they could be starting... Um, a higher level of learning somewhere and that's why they're moving for some it could be other reasons but it is your sister about to move whether it's your biological sister your foster sister or somebody you call a sister like a sister from another mister how that resonates but i think it's going to cause a transformation in you scorpio absolutely And a Scorpio is about to see the effects of black magic. Someone they are, they are close to now. For some, someone they used to be close to. The effects of black magic about the boomerang back on them in a huge way. For some, it's illnesses. For some, it's physical, physical changes on their body in a negative way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So some of you guys are about to see the effects of black magic on for some of you on somebody. For some, it's um, somebody you're currently close to. For some, it's somebody you used to be close to. For some, it could be a family member because we have heavy, heavy family energy in here. For some, maybe not. But for some, it's medical condition or conditions they have or they're about to develop. For some, it is physical transformations on their own body like aging i feel like aging here like i heard negative transformations on their physical body so um for some i i did a reading i think it was like a month ago or a month and a half ago or something like that about somebody's they are a huge black magic wielder and basically they have gotten cosmetic procedures on their body it's fem energies one of them they got in a boob job they got boob implant or implants for one they got a butt implant or implants and they were basically the implants were about to go awry because of all the black magic wielding they were doing that doing in the past for some it could that maybe that's the person you are currently close to or was close to for some um possibly maybe it's an implant about to go awry for some it could be any other aesthetic thing on their body aesthetically externally on their body that's about to backfire and it's about to cause it sounds like rapid aging here in this aspect this is transformation of their physical body about to start aging for some i feel it could be rapid aging possibly you plug it in how it resonates for some i feel it could be your baby mama your baby daddy possibly i don't know why i feel that i just kind of intuitively intuitively feel this for some of you guys for some, I feel like it could be your family member. For some, it could be anybody else you're currently close with or not currently close with. You plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio. But it's not you, if this resonates for you. It's not you, it's somebody else. But you're about to start seeing this tra physical transformation on their physical body. But it's due to all this black magic wielding crap they were doing in the past. All this dark arts mess. Faith.
Number 27, 28, 30, and 34 are very significant. Number 27, 28, um, 30, and 34 are very significant. So very significant numbers, 27, 28, 30, and 34 are very significant numbers. So um, you plug in your own life how it resonates. Um, that could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in your life. 27, 28, 30, or 34. You plug the um, number or numbers in how they resonate in your life. Like I said, I feel for some, it could be a possible age of you or it could be um, a possible age of someone you're connected to or was connected to. For some, it could be an age of that childhood friend, a uh, not childhood friend, um, former um, schoolmate you used to go to school with about to uh, connect with you, possibly for some. Uh, 27, 28, 30, 34. Also number 39, 38, 40. Also number 38, 39, 40. Also number 38, 39, and 40 as well. So you plug those numbers into your own life how it resonates. How it resonates, Scorpio. Okay. A Scorpio is about to get a call from a federal investigator. And a Scorpio is about to get a call from a probation officer. Okay, a Scorpio is about to get a call from a federal investigator, and a Scorpio is about to get a call from a police um, police officer. I'm sorry, not police officer, probation officer. So one of you guys is about to get a call from a um, federal investigator, and one you're about to get a call from a um, probation officer. So for some, it could be your probation officer or somebody you're connected to is probation officer, but I feel... I feel for some it's your probation officer because if it's somebody else's probation officer, why are they calling you? So I feel for some it's your probation officer, and I'm just being for real. But only you know if you have a probation officer, not anybody else. You have to plug it into your own particular life and situation how it resonates, okay? Only you know if you have a probation officer, not anybody else. For some, maybe if it's not your probation officer and it's somebody else's, obviously there's a reason they're contacting you, so I don't know. But some kind of probation officer energy about to contact you. Um, for some, it's a federal investigator about to contact you. Um, so it's not you about to contact them. They're about to contact you, whether it's a federal investigator, like a true fed, or a probation officer. How that resonates and applies, but I think you're about to have faith in this situation or um, faith in a situation. Um, however, that resonates and applies, Scorpio. Okay. A person named Faith is about, uh, about to become very significant in Scorpio's life and a child named Faith. A person named Faith and a child named Faith is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. I like children energy in here. Um, a person named Faith, so an adult, um, not a minor, 18 or 18 plus is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life for one of you guys. For one, a child named Faith, so a minor energy named Faith, is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. So, you have to, um, they, whoever these people are, whether it's a 18 plus adult named um, Faith or a minor named Faith. In this aspect, is it physically a person or a child named Faith? You plug it in, how it resonates. And there's about to be a lawsuit soon regarding injustices done to a family in the past. It's about to shock the hell out of you. For one, you're going to help do this. You're going to help create this um, lawsuit. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So for um, what? I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so some kind of lawsuit energy. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, some of you guys, um, you're going to be shocked about this lawsuit. Is regarding injustices done to a family in the past. For some, you're going to help create the lawsuit. For some, you're going to be shocked about, about it. So you plug it in, how it resonates. 
However that resonates, it applies. So you're going to have faith in this situation. Um, faith it's all going to work out. It was some kind of a justice done to a family. Now, no injustices should ever happen to any families of any shape, form, or fashion. But unfortunately, they do. And that's just the truth. They do. All, all the time. People um, overstepping boundaries and invading people's privacy and um, overstepping their bounds and being nosy and and etc 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 it happens all the time unfortunately it shouldn't but it does um you plug it in how it resonates scorpio class action lawsuit class action lawsuit is what i heard so class action lawsuit it's a class action lawsuit so a bunch of people are about to do this for one, you're going to be shocked about this class action lawsuit. For one, you're going to help create the class, class action lawsuit. You plug it in how it resonates. Or have a hand in it, how that resonates. For some, you could be a lawyer, possibly, for some. Jessica, Jerome, James, Jamie. Maddie, Jessica, Jerome, James, Jamie, Maddie, Jason, Kyle, Deborah, Jason, Kyle, Deborah, Jason, Kyle, and Deborah. You plug it in, how it resonates. That could be your name, somebody you're connected to's name, a first name, a middle name, a last name, a nickname. You plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. Risa, Carly, Risa and Carly, Risa and Carly. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. It could be your name, somebody you're connected to, name, first name, middle name, last name, nickname. You plug it in how it resonates. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much and namaste.